Guys, we're at the Outlander premiere with the one and only Sam Hewen. Sam, congratulations on everything. Here. Right, yes. How yes, many years? Are, seven yeah. years almost. Uh, six yeah. seasons, seven years. Yeah, six season and it's been seven years and we're just I'm just so excited to be here. Honestly, we've never done a UK premiere and um, to, to share this with the fans, to share this with the rest of the cast. It's so nice. It's so nice. So I have to ask because everyone's been asking me to ask you, what was it like filming? You know, you f filmed with a fake pregnant belly. Now you filmed with a real pregnant belly. What uh, was that like? I assume you didn't try and play basketball. I thought you were ta uh, talking about me there. I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I was wearing a, a, a fake pregnant belly. No, no, Katrina, indeed, she was uh, pregnant for real this time. And uh, I don't know how she did it. I think she hit it really well. She, she had so much energy. Um, and in the height of winter, like in Scotland, running around. Yeah, it was tough. In a pandemic, nonetheless. It, Anything else you want to add? Yeah, well, in a pandemic. Uh, like, what else? Yeah, it's, it's like, crazy. And wearing a corset, right? They made her wear a corset pregnant in a pandemic? You know, I have absolutely no idea. I think it's a corset. They must have made some sort of special one. I, I don't know. Okay, so I do have a question. She told me that you guys had to do love scenes while she was super pregnant. Is that true? How was that? Uh, there may be love scenes. And if we had to do them, then she would have been there, I hope. I probably wasn't doing them on my own, but um, uh, at least I hope not. That's a different um, show. That's a very different show. But um, yes, okay. is so the answer. She also told me that, you know, I asked her what her favorite thing about you is that you might not know. Did she take a long time? She to did. She, she took a long time. It's on video. You can go uh, watch it. A long so time I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna like ask what? you. Uh, <laughs> no, she took. Uh, no, she just answered like great stuff. Oh. So pressure's oh, no. on you. That's even harder then. What is something that's great about working with Katrina that she might not know? Oh yeah. Oh, that's tough. If she might not know. I mean, look, she she's the strong. Well, firstly, from where we started, she's like. Uh, one of my best friends she's a great confidant she's a great uh, actress we spend a lot of time together we've become Ooh, so yeah. close we're like brother and sister um, and we've grown up together as well like from from the beginning where we knew nothing really to now where we're producers on the show um, to to the future you know where we're both working on other projects but we always touch base with each other not only that on set she's a great set partner she's generous she's great humor the worst humor actually because she always corpses all the time um, she's strong she's very thoughtful she she knows what she wants from a scene but yeah she's also open to, uh, to interpretation and bounces anything back do you know what she'd be great in a basketball team great in American football team she can like get in there stuck amongst the guys she would knock you over she's uh, she's she's the what do they call it when you play the pro ball like she is the MR MVP of the, yeah, I was like sports. Of the Outlander team. All right. Uh, Katrina Balfe's going to play football. You heard it here first. MVP, Katrina Balfe. Hi, Katrina. Hey, how are you? Okay, so I come to London. You stay in America. Or we're destined to just meet. I mean, we just keep doing this. I don't know. <laughs> what happens? Never be. Okay, let, I prefer it that way. Um, okay, so I do have a question. I forgot to ask you. What was it like like filming while pregnant because I've seen a lot of pictures with you holding a planter a book like what scenes were the hardest to film where you just like it was very hard to hide that you were pregnant well I think we, for the photos we, we we tried to have the planter and the book and stuff I, for filming I think they just gave up I think they were just like let's film it as usual and then I think they took some 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 belly out in digital afterwards oh, okay. I think that was like that was screen, uh, that, that. yeah you know, I think otherwise, Claire's in it so much. We, you know, she's so active this season as well. Like to try and stand her behind a sofa or carrying things all the time. It just, it, it just wouldn't have worked. So, um, but it was, it was a challenge. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was definitely tough. Um, Are there I any funny scenes? Like, I know you probably, did you film the love scenes earlier in your pregnancy? Not necessarily, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> That's yeah. comfortable. No, it wasn't. But, you know, these these are the things you got to do. Um, we had one early on, and then there was definitely one later on. Um, yeah. 
We're, we're, we're going to see your belly green screened out. <laughs> I think they'll they'll remove stuff. Yeah, for sure. Well, if anyone can be a like 59 year old pregnant woman, it's Claire Fraser. So, that's <laughs> yeah. um, so the other thing I wanted to ask you is I know Diana hasn't told you about the ending, but if you could write the ending for Jamie and Claire, what do you think it would be? Oh, I just want to see them finally be happy and, you know, have a nice peaceful <laughs> retirement. Wouldn't that be nice? Where That'd they get to actually enjoy the ridge and nobody's trying to kill them or nobody's trying to attack them. Um, yeah, and they, and you know, Brianna and, and uh, Roger and Fergus and Marsali and all their kids, everyone lives close by and they have like Sunday weekly picnics and, I don't know. Mine would be really boring. Like nobody would want to watch because it's just you know. I would watch that. I would take that in a second, mainly because it's so traumatic watching it now. So I would take that ever after. I'm gonna tell talk to Diana downstairs and I'll ask her if she approves of that ending. Exactly. Um, yeah. I don't think she will, but yeah. No, absolutely not. Um, and last thing, I just want to use this time to tell you most of the questions I got for you on Twitter were that people wanted me to take this opportunity to tell you how much they appreciate you and that you are the reason that Outlander, along with Sam, is like the magic that it is. And um, they love everything about you. So, and that goes for me too, and your whole audience. And Katrina, well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. As I'm sure you know, we have the greatest fan base who are so supportive and so passionate, and it's amazing that they're sticking around during all of these crazy drought landers. So yeah, no, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you very much. No problem. All right. Katrina, Thanks, thank you. Bye, so Reshma. Thank you.